Hi guys. Okay. One thing I'm going to pick up on from the last video is just explaining the total income number a bit more. So our total income is right here, the 19,928. So there's a few things, right? You had to get that gambling income. So remember all gambling income or, or let's back up all income is taxable unless specifically excluded. Gambling winnings are not excluded from tax. Child support is an example of something that's excluded from income, but not alimony. So you had to get this $940 of gambling winnings in here. And then you had to have that in here with their other wages, with their interest. And then we had to calculate their social security benefits, right? Because we can see here only 1,443 are taxable. So how do we how do we calculate what the social security benefits are? That would have been the tricky part in your post in figuring out total income. But remember, we know that we have that $32,000 amount for social security benefits. So you should have caught that we were above the limitation. So I click that folder and that brings us into a worksheet taxable social security benefits. And right here we can see, I showed this in the other video when I was entering these amounts, these amounts are flowing from the SSA 1099. So the total of these amounts is 32,800, nothing here. And then we have, so we have 32,800 to examine. So what do we do? We have to take half of the social security benefits, right? Which they do on this next line here, line two, that's 16,400. Then you can see line three here says, combine the amounts from Form 1040 lines one to B, that's the taxable amount of interest, taxable amount of dividends, taxable amount of retirement to B, 3B, and 4B. It doesn't say include 5B, which is the taxable amount of Social Security benefits. So we're adding up all of their income, including Schedule 1, line 22, which is all other income from Schedule 1. So this is all of their income, okay, comes to 18450 So next, we're going to add that together with 50% of their benefits. And you would have had to look back to this test, to this calculation, right, to be able to calculate this. Now, here's where we see that threshold. Married filing joint on line 9 is 32000 See, oh, and line eight is the test. Is the amount on line seven less than the amount on line six? No, right? Because our test number is more than the threshold. So we look at the limitation of 32,000. We are $2,885 over that but we're going to take the smaller of uh, keeps not letting me go exactly where I want to show you this form. <laughs> so um, line 10 is the amount on line nine less than line eight. No. So in that case, is the amount on line nine less than eight? Yes. So subtract line nine from line eight. So we're $2,885 over the threshold amount. So subtract line 11, which is this limitation, this amount that we take based on filing status 12,000. 
subtract from line 10. Now that's the phase out amount. If you're over 12,000 over that limitation, remember it's just 85% of the benefits are taxable, but we're not over that threshold amount. So we're going to take a portion of this. So subtract line 11 from line 10. Now that would have been less than zero. So we just put zero. Line 13, enter the smaller of line 10 or line 11. So line 10 is a 28585, not the 12,000. So we take the 2885 and then we enter one half of line 13. So that's 1,443, um, which is going to be the smaller of 85% of line 12, which is zero. So we are going to take not 85% of our benefits, which would have been 27,888, and instead we'll take 1,443. So that's how we got to that number. I just wanted to show you that calculation because that was the more complicated part of calculating our total income number. And so your total income should be 19,928. So be sure to correct your post if you did not get that number and be sure to do out the calculation of 1,443 of taxable benefits. So just do out this calculation in a post for full credit of the correct answer. And you'll do the same thing with Schedule A itemized deductions, which I'm going over in the next video. See you then.